Hello and welcome to my unboxing of the 3DR Pixhawk flight controller. Uh, just ordered it today, uh, sorry yesterday, on the uh, 6th of February and uh, it's turned up the next day which is rather good in this rather awesomely sexy plastic bag. Or not as the case may be. Right so, this is verse, let's get inside. Um, they used Interlink to deliver it to me, uh, which is a nice little firm, mostly. Uh, they give you an hour delivery slot and they turn up on that hour. And this is, uh, where did I buy it from now? I've forgotten already. Yep, I bought it from Unmanned Tech, shameless plug. And uh, rather a nice firm to do business with. I've dealt with them many, many times on smaller parts. So, what then arrives is this jiffy bag. It's a nice bit of protection there. And also I get to use the bag post off stuff to other people because I haven't written all over it. So what do we have inside? Oh loads of bits, lovely lovely. Right what have we got? Uh, we've got the quick start guide which is not in the box for some reason. I would like that to be a bit better protected but okay. Let's not get too stressy about it. Uh, the box itself containing the Pixhawk. There we go and uh, we'll open that up in a moment. What else have we got? Uh, now I did order uh, the PPM sum uh, receiver thing. Um, now my own flight uh, receiver has got uh, PPM in it, uh, but I brought this just in case I use it with another receiver that doesn't have. I can't imagine it didn't only cost it only cost a few bob, so not too bad at all. And who knows, I might be able to use it in other stuff. Um, and I also bought, absolutely essential when you're buying something of this quality and, and calibre, I also bought the uh, GPS kit. So this is 3DR's own, no Chinese clones this time. And uh, what it's got in it is both the GPS and the magnetometer uh, on the same board. Uh, made for the APM 2.6, but of course completely compatible with um, the Pixhawk. And uh, it's a good old 3DR uh, U-Blocks GPS, which is marvellous. Never had any problem with uh, the U Blocks uh, GPSs. Okay, so what's it say here? Uh, make any RC plane, copter, or rover a full featured drone, personal drone. Well, absolutely. Okay, so here we go. The grand opening. Ta da! That's quite a nice box, actually, as things go. I'm normally used to receiving stuff in anonymous uh, plastic bags or bubble wrap or anti static. Um, Rather than this, so that's quite nice. What have I got inside here? So, first things first, without any ado, you're straight into the Pixhawk itself. And I have to say, it's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. It's always been a bit difficult to tell on the pictures uh, in the magazines and that uh, quite how big this thing is. Looks like there's a reset button in there and some little recess. These will all be the uh, the outputs. Or inputs, which way? No, the motor outputs. That's right. That'll go after the servos. Uh, the manual does tell you a little bit about what these do, but uh, the white numbers on black is the uh, eight, uh, the eight outputs. Um, arrow for pointing forwards. Uh, the multicolor LED and various connection points and uh, more LEDs up here. Not short on LEDs, I have to say. Is the big talk. Um What else we got? There's a SD card slot in there with an SD card in it by the look of it from what I can see from here. I'm not sure how big it is. Uh, that's where you store your logs data and stuff like that. And on this side uh, we have the ubiquitous US micro USB controller, a portable not controller, uh, to plug it into the PC and do stuff. On the bottom just a few mouldings by the look of it. So nice big pad area to put your sticky pad to mount it on. Um, or probably as most of us would do the four corners are nicely marked out as well. And I think I'll probably use my moon gel, seeing as that works so well with the APM 2.5 stuff, and I've got a couple of bits left over. Okay, so that's the Pixhawk itself. What else we got? There is more stuff in here by the look of it. Oh yes, here we go. Oh, lovely, lovely. More bits and pieces to play with. Right, a comprehensive bag of cables and bits and pieces. Um, I'm going for something I recognise straight away. So this will be the uh, the power module. Uh, some people use it, some people don't. Um, I'm pretty sure with the Pixhawk you don't get that choice. Uh, you're pretty much encouraged to use it. 
Um, nothing wrong with that really. Uh, I think you can go up to 4S batteries with this. If you want to use a Pixel with anything more than a 4S battery at the moment, I'm not actually sure what you'd do. Hmm, interesting question that. I'll have to uh, debate on that. Uh, comes with a buzzer. Uh, now the Pixel itself has got a small buzzer on it, but it got this external buzzer which you can mount somewhere. Made in China, where else would you make this stuff, eh? Um, and it's all nicely made up with the connector. And everything connects the Pixel using these little Molex connectors. A uh, small bundle of other cables that do various things. Uh, I'll have to work these out. So it looks like 5 pin and 4 pin there by the look of it. Um, this is the uh, safety switch, they call it. So, and there's a little LED inside of it as well. So when, before your arm, when you first put the power on, uh, you press and hold that button until it makes a beep at you. And then you can arm using the traditional method of arming with the sticks. Uh, some more connectors there. What else we got? Ah, USB cable. Very nice. Can never have too many of these. Um, I seem to go through these all the time. I'm sure I don't eat them. Maybe the cat does or something. I have no idea. A um, couple of templates here. One for copter. Actually, several actually. I think if I remember right, one's for copter, one's for plane, and something else. Um, I haven't quite worked out what it's for just yet, so uh, but I was reading about it the other day, so um, and we have a little breakout for what is this? This is uh, no, nope, not sure, uh, but there you go, a little breakout. Uh, I guess this is for the i2c or something like that. I can't, I'm probably getting it terminology all wrong, uh, but it just allows you to connect more than one device uh, to the four port. Yes, it is the i2c. There you go. So if you've got several I2C devices, you can wire them all up in parallel. And that board facilitates that for you. Uh, and finally, a micro SD adapter. So you can put the micro SD card in, pop it into a full SD device, uh, like your laptop or something like that, and read away. So, there you have it. The Pixhawk Flight Controller by 3DR. Or 3D Robotics, to be given the proper handle. Uh, future videos I'll probably show you how we got this thing powered up, how we use it and uh, hopefully I'll get to fly it if this incessant rain ever stops. Thank you for watching, bye for now.